The scientists who discovered various birds um, were perverts. They had a little too much fun with what they uh, named these birds. I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I don't actually think they're perverts, but the names some of, of some of these birds, very naughty. So let's talk about the naughty sexual names given to birds, and you'll get my point. Bush tit, <laughs> great tit, tufted tit mouse, <laughs> dick sizzle. Ah, oh, that sounds painful. It really honestly. does. <laughs> Blue footed booby, <laughs> woodcock, Andean. Cock of the rock. Oh my god. <laughs> right? Whew. It's uh, hot in here. Fu Fulvus breasted woodpecker. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Every more. part of that sounds dirty, by it the really, way. <laughs> it really does. It really does. By the way, bush tits are super cute. So are um, tit mice. Mm -hmm. I'm going to prove my point on that in just a moment. Uh, but we've got more naughty, naughty birdie names. Okay, we've got the Himalayan snowcock. I mean, honestly, uh, the conservatives have already banned books about birds mm -hmm. just based on the name of the birds. They're like, this is inappropriate for children. They shouldn't be learning about them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's rough faced shag, <laughs> <laughs> horned screamer. How was your night? It was terrible. It was a rough faced shag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. feeling beat. Satanic goat sucker. Come what on. What is that? That's a Come bird? on. Come on. More pork. I think Mark Levin <laughs> did a segment about the satanic goat sucker, actually. <laughs> There's more. Fluffy backed tit babbler. <laughs> Red billed ox pecker. Ow. And gamecock. Simply mm. gamecock. Yeah. Okay. Well, some birds are game. That's a lot of naughty names. That's a lot. I'm sure you could find more. <laughs> look, I, look, I honestly, I remember in school reading the book. It's a very classic environmental book called Who Killed Cock Robin? And even as a kid, I thought, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with scientists. I think they're, they have a lot of time on their hands. Sometimes they'll get lonely. And so you explain daddy long legs to me. Come on. I mean, I can't because I don't know why it's named daddy long legs, but. I think Charlie should be named Daddy Long Legs. He's got some <laughs> long legs, my little baby. Lead the way, call him that. So, all right. So, with that said, I have gotten into birding. I am not an expert on like I'm brand new to this hobby, and I I gotta say I love it. It gives you, I it gives you more of an excuse to be outdoors. And honestly, the place where I feel the most at peace is in nature. Um, at least three days out of the week, I wake up earlier than I usually do just to get several stories produced. So after our production meeting, I can like run over and do a hike where there's a lot of birds. Uh -huh. And I take a ton of photos oh my God. and I try to learn. And yes, I have the Merlin app for all you birders who are watching right now. I do have the Merlin app. The Merlin app is amazing, okay? It's, mm -hmm. um, I believe Cornell University developed it and you can, when you turn it on or activate it, um, it can listen to various bird sounds mm -hmm. and tell you which birds it's hearing, so mm -hmm. you know what you're looking at or what you're, you know, finding. So with nerd. that, so with you that said, nerd. I want to show you some cool birds that I took <laughs> photos of. Okay, so I really love the lesser goldfinch. They're cute little yellow birds. I hate that they're called lesser goldfinch. Mm -hmm. I think insulting. I think it is insulting. I think the goldfinch is everything it needs to be and more. <laughs> Wait, is there a greater goldfinch though? I don't know the answer. Because I, I gotta see that. It, I mean, that might be the case. Maybe that's why this is called the lesser goldfinch. But mm -hmm. call it Still something else, like compact goldfinch, <laughs> um, fun-sized goldfinch. I like that. Let's yeah, go for that. yeah, that would be good. A little bit dirty too. So one of the most beautiful, majestic birds I've seen in, in person is the. I think appropriately named Great Blue Heron. Let's take a look. Ooh. It's so beautiful. It's great. It's such a gorgeous bird. A little scary. Okay, so here's the thing about birds. So when the dinosaurs went extinct, because was it an asteroid or meteor that hit? I mean, I think that that was definitely a big part of it. I think it was a complex process over a very long period of time, but, but an asteroid. It was an asteroid, okay. So when that happened, obviously that wiped out a lot of like animals, dinosaurs, birds, actually not all birds, but some birds ended up surviving because they're, they dwell underground. 
they live underground. So when that happened, they were able to kind of protect themselves from the ramifications of an asteroid, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so my point is, the reason why I say this is birds are dinosaurs. <laughs> They're, but they are. Yes. And that's so cool. That. Isn't that, I know I sound stupid right now, but I swear <laughs> I'm not. I don't know how to communicate about science in a way that sounds smart. It's yes. not my wheelhouse. They're okay, descended but from they're dinosaurs. The dinosaurs, yes. So we live among dinosaurs and a lot of people don't even know it. They don't even notice it. There's so many birds around you at all times when you're outside. You don't even know. You don't even know, but once you take note, an entire world opens up <laughs> and it's amazing. You it's nerd. so amazing. You massive nerd. Okay, okay, more. I Okay, let's see, take a look at the next photo. So there. That is okay. There are two birds there, and I know you can't tell because you don't see their beautiful blue, vibrant feathers. Uh, but those are California scrub jays, hmm. and they're they're super blue. Okay. They're when they're in flight, it's like amazing because all you see is like this super vibrant, vibrant blue thing fly across the air. It's amazing. So hold on, look, worry. Okay, I understand you just got into birding, yeah. but like two years ago, when you saw a bird, were you interested? I wasn't present. Do you understand what I mean? Mm. So like, I saw a bird, but did I really see the bird? <laughs> no, but I'm being serious. Did you see the dinosaur inside the bird? I didn't. No. I didn't appreciate the bird. I wasn't in. I wasn't really in the present. Okay. And when you're not in the present, you miss everything. You're super distracted. Yeah. Um, what else you got? Okay, we've got more. The next one is also another example of the California scrub jay. You can yeah. see the blue a little bit um, at its head. They're super cute. Um, so, a controversial bird, and I only say controversial because I said something about this on Instagram, and some people, <laughs> their feathers got ruffled, if you will. <gasps> um, the next bird, it's a photo I took of a turkey vulture. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, how badass is that photo? That is very badass. It's a very good photo that I, I like took. It. So. I think that the turkey vulture is unattractive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So, like, the thing that. Being disrespectful to your model there. It always tricks me because it has an incredible wings. Like, total butterface because beautiful body, not a great face. <laughs> Sorry for people who are going to get mad at me. Sorry, turkey vulture. I've got this bag. If you could put this bag <laughs> over your head, no. please. No, and so what ends up happening is. Sometimes I'll see it flying. It glides in the air, right? How many so I'll times see have it you seen this thing all the time when I go hiking, and I'll see it from a distance, and I'll be like, "Oh my god, is that a hawk?" Mm -hmm. But then I get closer, and it's like, nah, "It's a turkey vulture." But I learned some cool facts about turkey vultures What's from our audience, people What's who that? follow me on Instagram. So the reason why turkey vultures don't have feathers on their heads which is probably why I have an issue with the way they look mm -hmm. is because they eat like like roadkill, like dead animals, like the the you know the stuff. They're the, scavengers. The, yeah, the trash that we don't want around. Like uh -huh. so, they actually do an important service in yeah. nature and for us. Um, but obviously, if they're eating like dead stuff, it's gonna get dirty. And so, not having feathers helps keep them clean, so they don't huh. get like blood and guts and whatever on in, into their feathers as they're That's digging fascinating. in. Fascinating! I had never heard that. One of the ways that they defend themselves is literally by throwing up. <laughs> yeah. So I think they're kind of cool now that Pinky. I now that I have those facts about them. Um, I'm definitely more interested in them. It's just yeah. that I don't find them particularly beautiful. Like yeah. their face, their bodies are great. <laughs> I love that you thought they were gross, and what convinced you that they were awesome is that their face is often covered in blood, and they projectile vomit as a defense mechanism. No, I mean, look. Nature's metal, okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, there's more. I love um, I love this bird, I think this bird's beautiful. That's oh. an egret, oh. beautiful white egret. Mm. But now let's- You know nothing. Let's get know. to the videos real quick before we get to uh, everyone's favorite bird. Because okay. we did that, we asked everyone what their favorite birds are. Um, let's go to the videos, I don't know what we're starting with. These are all videos that I took, I just wanna explain what they are. Let's keep our mics up. Let's go to the first one. Oh, that's that's a California Thrasher. Ooh, th that's metal. Yeah. Nice. They got super long beaks and they want to be Pop heard. Pop they Pop really want to be heard. Yeah, it's the janky of birds. Yeah. So I discovered that type of bird for the first time like a few months ago, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. Nice. Let's go to the next video. 
Okay, so that is a that is a turkey vulture, and it's nesting on top of a tree, as you can see. Uh, this is a video that I took this week. That looks like a Skeksis, is what that looks like. It it is an impressive bird. Some birds are closer to dinosaurs than others, I think. <laughs> like that's five percent dinosaur still. The way they they fly and glide through the air is actually really beautiful too. Mm -hmm. um, I think we might have one more, two more videos. Let's go to the next one. Oh. Okay, so that bird, Christian, I did not take this video. Um, my Ooh. husband Christian did. Colorful. And it's called a, that, that is a very rare sighting in Southern California. It's called a vermilion anteater, I believe it is. Oh, you eat those ants, vermilion. It's beautiful. Very cute, the, looks like purple, orange, and yellow. It's super, it's like crimson red. Wow. So beautiful, okay. such a nice bird. Okay. Fast. Um, and then, okay, okay, it's called, I'm sorry, it's called a vermilion flycatcher. Oh. The bird that you're watching right now though, that cute little bird, oh, cute. that's a bush tit. <laughs> I can sort of tell from this angle. It's a bush tit, yeah. they're so cute. Yeah, they're becoming trendy once again, I heard, um, <laughs> okay. the bird, but yeah. All right. It's like perfectly round. I love round animals. I know. I follow an Instagram account that's just round tiny, animals, actually. Tiny, tiny, tiny very birds. Cute. And they make like a very loud, you know, they have a very loud song or call. Oh. And cute. there were a ton of them out. I took that video today. There were a ton of them out. Cute. Not that I, you know, um, you know, it neglected my duties as a producer <laughs> and host of the show. But I, everyone needs a little break. And the hike is my break in the middle of the day. Okay. So let's talk about our favorite birds real quick. And then you guys should check out Happy Half Hour every Wednesday after the main show, twitch.tv slash TYT, hosted by Brett Ehrlich. My favorite bird is the rotund California quail. The California what? quail, <laughs> what a fancy bird, mm -hmm. okay? Look at that little. Little, little hat that it's wearing, okay? <laughs> they're super cute and they're like, they are rotund, which I mm -hmm. absolutely love about them. They travel in groups or coveys mm. and they don't really fly. Uh, they, what they'll do is if they feel threatened, since they travel in coveys uh, to distract a predator, they'll all like just quickly like jump up and like, Mm -hmm. You know, but they don't actually fly long distances or fly high up into the air. They just mm -hmm. kind of do like a short burst to kind of distract their predators, and and, okay. and then Clever. they scurry over to like low brush. That's where they usually hide and live. <laughs> okay, super cute. A little cowardly, but okay. No, they're great. They're cute. Uh, I like the coloring and looks tasty. I will just say that. Does that bird not look like it would taste good? I mean, it does. I mean, I, I I'd want to eat it because it's so cute. <laughs> but I like to, you know, you know when you see cute things, don't you ever want to like bite cute things? Oh, I want to bite my daughter constantly. Right? Yes, yeah. exactly. That's but a good my example. wife told me not to. Don't bite your daughter. Don't do it. Yeah, again. don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> All right, uh, our producer Taylor Ellis's favorite bird, and honestly, this was a close one for me oh, because yeah. I also love the great horned owl. They're great. They're gorgeous. Also very majestic, and I love hearing them um, when like they're hooting, hooting away yeah. in the middle of the night. It's a good bird. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Um, our producer, Alyssa Salmon, uh, Salmons uh, has her favorite bird, and we actually have a video of it. Let's take a look. Yes. Oh. Little toucan. Is it a cat? Is that fur? Dude. Come on, okay. In I'd like to change my favorite bird, oh, I think. So <laughs> cute, In I believe it's the first scene of Hitchcock's film, Birds. Uh, the main character goes to like a pet store where they sell birds and there's like a toucan in, mm. in one of the shots and it's like gorgeous. Hmm. Yeah, they're really cool birds. I had no idea they did that. Um, okay, let's go to the next one. We've got, oh, Kate, I like Kate's. Kate's is a snowy plover. <gasps> oh, come on. Oh, that, that, he, that's, I'm gonna send that to my that Instagram account I follow. That's so cute. <laughs> that's little, cute. Little tubby guy. That would also be delicious, <laughs> air fried. Stop it, stop yeah. it, John. And then John's trying to be a tough guy over here. How All right, let's, let's go guy. to John's favorite bird. 
The, the raven. raven. All right. Okay. What's yeah. wrong with the raven? <laughs> no, no, ravens are cool. That's the tough guy. That's one of the smartest animals on the planet. It is. That's the intellectuals bird. No, I actually will say this about ravens and crows. They scare me a little bit because if they wanted to, they could do a lot of damage. They could really mm -hmm. hurt you if they wanted to. Right. And they're they, intelligent as hell. They as can you use tools, to. which almost no animals can. Exactly. And so they're smart, which means that they know that if they wanted to cause harm to humans, they could. But they're restrained. But they, but they decide not to. <laughs> they decide not to. They have ethics. So they're our friends. Yeah. They're moral birds. They're great birds. Smart moral birds. Also scavengers, so kind of gross, but. It's okay. But they're good. But scavengers are necessary. They are. They There's are. a reason they exist. Okay, and they're beautiful. Now, yes, they are beautiful. I will say that. They are beautiful. And then finally, um, so our graphic artist's favorite bird, which I had never heard of, had never even seen, the shoe bill. <laughs> Carlos, <laughs> what a cool bird. And I want to learn more about it. That's a, that is a dinosaur right there. Total dinosaur. See? Wait, so if they descended from the dinosaurs, could my favorite bird be a velociraptor? I mean, no. Oh, okay. Currently well, living, I think, is more interesting. Okay, we'll go with that then. So anyway, guys. I also think really runners yeah. up, penguins, Adelaide penguins in particular. Penguins are cool. Adorable and the peregrine falcon, mostly because of the book on my side of the mountain. And I believe the Hayabusa can drop at 200 miles per hour. Do you wanna go bird watching? I'm willing to go bird watching and maybe I would like it. I could take some pictures. I would love a chance to take some yes, pictures of stuff. Yes. Could I bring Raina? Of course, of course, okay, of course, that then. would be such a fun outing. Let's do it then. Anyway, everyone just take a moment to smell the roses and look at the dinosaurs around you. <laughs> and I'm not talking about the elderly or anything like that. I'm talking <laughs> about the birds because they are dinosaurs and they're amazing. Thanks for watching. If you become a member, you get to watch all this ad free, except for, of course, this ad. Still, hit the join button below.